What is going on everybody? Today we found the 2017 Newell Show Coach that is one of the best spec P50 Newell coaches on the road. Today we're here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida, and there is a lot of work happening. You can see all kinds of different buses. Some of the nicest motor coaches in the world are coming and going here. This 2017 is one of the nicest spec coaches we've seen come through here and the reasons that I feel that this is one of the best spec coaches on the road is first of all this paint scheme with the white black and red you can see some intricate detail work within this paint scheme the first time I saw this coach in person outside it just really commands a presence and is one of the more aggressive paint jobs that we've seen and I definitely really like it now the other thing that I love about this coach is the floor plan it's got two full bathrooms with two showers, bunks, and is an excellent utilization of space. Before we take a look inside, I wanna take you around the outside of this coach quickly. It is inside here at the motor coach door, so there's a lot going on. You can see it is a side radiator coach with the Porsche design, and keep in mind that the new 24 and 25 P50 Newells are gonna be the same exact body style. The only update that I've seen in the P50 50s was in 22 when they updated the front end bringing the paint scheme into the front end and then they also updated the dash this coach is priced at one million three hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars which makes it a lot of value for the money back here we do have our power 50 amp cord reel it does have a remote so if you want to put that in and out as you're walking your shoreline to the power post it makes that easy and these are valid slide rooms you'll notice the rounded edges on the slides and I just really like all of the detail work in the paint scheme you can see a slight fade here there's some metallics and that big white pattern just wild stripes this does have the 200 gallon diesel fuel tank you'll notice this camera on the outside of the bay door here that's gonna make it very easy to line up your fuel bay with the fuel pump when you are fueling this coach up you can see it's all finished out in stainless List. There's your DEF tank as well. And you can see, here's a look at our plumbing bay. We've got a manifold system, that turned aluminum look. We can monitor our tank levels, faucet if you wanna wash your hands out here. And then there's also a bib if you wanna hook up a, a, a hose to go into a DI bottle and a power washer or something, you've got that. Sewer hose is built in where it just automatically retracts. You just push it back in. Uh, you're not fumbling around with having to have a spot to store your sewer hose. I like the way Newell does that. It does have that knife valve at the end as well to make sure there's no waste spilled. And then we've got our fresh water fill and then the holding tanks back here. There's your Mach 5 Headhunter water pump as well as an auxiliary water pump. There's a heater in this bay to keep everything warm in cold climates. And then this bay you'll notice below the slide room has got this mesh screen on the front of it for a little bit of cooling and they brought that drop shadow in that paint scheme and that pattern through that really incredible design in this paint scheme but this is going to be the cooling system for the generator this coach has the 20 kW generator which creates a lot of heat they've got this cooling system here to make sure that generator can keep running and here's a look at a full pass through bay with the slide tray then we can press a remote it's got the Dometic CFX cooler on the other side and there's a switch here in case you lose your remote it took me a second to find that remote and then you just need to make sure that your remote is pointed at the sensor there makes loading and unloading your bays very easy and then once that tray has gone in it's got a little velcro backing here so we can just slap that on the carpet right there nice easy spot and I love the way they bring the paint scheme and the pattern through these door handles I've seen some of the other motorhome companies leave the door handles not painted that's a lot of intricate detail work when we look at that drop shadow and then here's bay one a full pass through bay again it's got that remote with the slide tray it looks like there's quite a few goodies in this coach it's got the magna shades some extra accent pillows some of the stuff that they just keep in the bays here in case the next owner wants to keep this stuff turned aluminum face with the stainless strip just high-end finishes on every square inch of this coach coming around to the front of the coach 
coach here. You can see they're moving into the new motor coach store facility. A lot going on. This is going to be the service area over here. They've got some of the best technicians in the industry working on these coaches. There's a lot of value in purchasing this coach here from the motor coach store. When you take delivery, you'll have a trained technician explain how to work all of the systems in this coach. This is a very complex machine. So if you want to stay the night or stay several nights, make sure you understand how to operate everything. They're going to have that support for you here at the motor coach store and that's really priceless. And then up front here you can see this is a Porsche designed exterior. Beautiful European style rear view mirrors. The front cap is just one of the sleekest, sexiest looking front ends in the industry. We have the air door to go inside. It does have a code entry as well as a doorbell. There's a, another camera here uh, and we can access all of those cameras from different panels with inside the coach. So we'll show you in a moment. And it is a little tight here. They do have the slide rooms out on this coach, but want to give you guys the full tour here. So this first bay is going to be the full slide tray with those extra rugs. And then the second bay is going to have that Dometic cooler. And these will come out both ways with that remote or by a switch. And I believe this can be used as either a cooler on both sides or a freezer on both sides. And it will come out more, but they've got this stuff from the cabinet shop still in place here. They're just moving the last few things out here. It's really fun to see everything coming together here at the motor coach store. Right now they're doing a bunch of work on the exterior of the building, updating the whole look of it. And this bay is going to be the electronics bay. The inverters, breaker boxes, a lot of electronic components are housed back there. And then we've got this manual bin that will pull out and you can take that off if you want to use that as kind of a creeper to slide in and out of this bay. This is going to be our entertainment bay. And then behind this is going to be the Aqua Hot 675 as well as the freshwater holding tanks. And here's the other diesel fuel door. You can see we have a camera on this side as well. So you can fill up that 200 gallon diesel fuel tank on both sides of the coach. And it's finished out in stainless. And then the house batteries are going to be housed next to your diesel tank. And I'm seeing 2020 date codes on the Michelin tires. Now this does have the active steer tag axle and it really gives Newell an advantage when it comes to your turning radius, getting these coaches in and out of RV resorts. And sometimes you're in some tighter areas that having that active steer rear tag axle really makes a big difference. Some of the other coaches out there like this beautiful Newmar London Air is going to have a passive steer tag axle. It's still very nice where that rear tag is going to passively steer and basically follow. But the downside of that is if you make a tight turn and then you go into reverse, you aren't able to turn your rear tag axle wheels with the steering wheel where on a Newell coach, if you just want to slap this bad boy in reverse, turn your wheel all the way one way or the other, that rear tag axle is going to actively steer and then it just really changes that dynamic of that steering. And I know a lot of the higher end cars are doing uh, four wheel steering as well. So that's another huge advantage that Newell Coach has over other motorhomes out there. Now talking about advantages, this is going to have a 25,000 pound towing capacity, the leading towing capacity in the Class A industry. And then it's got the Cummins ISX with 600 horsepower. You can see you've got easy access to get back here if you need to switch a belt out. It does have an air hose here with an air doubler. If you need to air up your tires, easy access to your fuel filter. And the way that Newell builds these, if this engine ever needed to come out, it would be a few bolts and they could easily remove that. But this coach only has 65,000 miles. So hopefully that won't need to be done for a long time. Talking about high mile Newell's, real quick before we take a look at the interior of this coach, we found Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s old Newell coach that's in for service here. It's got 290,000 miles. Let me show you guys this one real quick. So this is an 01 Newell coach, originally owned to my knowledge by Dale Earnhardt Jr. It is having a slide seal done right now. That's a pretty expensive job. I know this owner has spent a lot of money on service on this coach, but with 290,000 miles, it's still holding up very well. Now let me just show you guys, even on an 01 coach, they've got to take some stuff off to get 
get to those slide seals, but check out how they cover everything up. This is an 01 coach. They've got the floors covered, stuff covering all the fabric on the furniture there. I always love seeing 20 year old Newell with almost 300,000 miles and how well it holds up. And check out the style of the entry door here. Such a cool, a mid entry triple slide Newell coach. But let's go take a look at that 2017. This being the 2017 show coach, they pulled out all of their stops and this is really a, a contemporary design. This 2017 P50 is gonna have almost all of the same exact equipment that a brand new Newell has and for $1,333,333, it's almost half price of what a new Newell is. And this is the best floor plan. I've talked about it before, having two full showers and bunks will take a look in a moment, but it's unbelievable how much space is in this coach with two full bathrooms and we still have a full booth, the opposing sofas, plenty of seating. And then if you do need additional sleeping, this couch will jackknife down. And I love this button tough pattern here on the armrest. And then coming to the other sofa, this also has a pullout sleeper. So you can have two beds, comfortably sleep quite a few people in this coach. And then we've got this uh, Newell Coach Ottoman that slides around. It's got this little uh, top that can be used as like a coffee table, or if we wanna open this up, does have storage. Looks like a, a cowhide kind of a pattern. Very cool. All of the different textures that Newell does use. One of the other things I really like about this coach is we don't have any cabinets overhead in your patio side slide room. This also does have a TV in the slide room. So when those come in, you still have a TV you can easily watch from your sofa or your booth. And this does have the flat floor slides. So you'll notice that the floor is completely flat throughout. Now there is carpet in the bedroom, but it's gonna be all tile in the salon area. And Newell does have the leading headroom in the class A industry. And then also the tallest slide rooms with these valid slides. And I really like the dark color cabinets with the light countertops, a wolf induction cooktop, GE microwave convection oven, some of the light switches, dump valves here, and we can control all kinds of stuff from this panel. We can take a look at our cameras around the coach. You've got cameras all around this coach. You can see it's uh, inside the motor coach store warehouse right now. So a lot of activity as we look around this coach. Looks like a nice uh, Newmar King Air getting worked on next door. But we can also control the heated floors, the water pumps, the generator, monitor the battery levels, the tank levels, control lighting, shades, climate control, and lots of different settings from this tablet. Now, I also wanna point out all of the indirect lighting that Newell does here above the slide faces, below the cabinets, below the countertops, lots of lighting in this coach. And we still have a good amount of storage in the galley considering this is a two full bathroom coach. You have to sacrifice space somewhere, but still plenty of storage. It's got that Brew Express coffee maker built in, a beautiful tile backsplash, and then a lot of drawer space as well. Nice drawer for your remotes. And you can really feel that Newell Coach quality when we open and close these cabinets. This is gonna have a spot to put a trash receptacle. And then below the sink is gonna be a residential style garbage disposal. So if you want to chop up some vegetables while you're doing some cooking and put those down the garbage disposal that will go into the waste tank. This does have the 143 gallon fresh water tank and then 143 gallon combined waste tank. So your black and gray tank are combined. Got a Fisher Paykel dishwasher and lots of storage. Because Newell Coach has so much headroom, it gives you more height for storage as well. And so many little details that Newell Coach does like your dinette table here you have outlets and USB ports that are on this flipper here and then we have another launch port tablet to control lighting shades uh, climate control all from this tablet if you want to control that while you're moving around the coach this is the refrigerator and the way they build these refrigerator into the cabinets it really looks like it's a piece of furniture that was meant to be in the coach but 
we do have that GE monogram refrigerator with the pull out ice tray and then a freezer drawer. And I really like that pattern when you look closely with the two tone with the lighter and the darker that really break up the coach and give it a nice feel. I noticed we have some more pantry space over here. Newell coach does not miss any square inch. Lots of storage in this coach. And then coming into the bunk area here, there is a ladder that can be removed and moved around. And then if you do want to use this area as a closet instead of bunks, you can lift this top bunk up and then lock that into place. And then there's a hanging bar that will go here, can double as a closet. But one of the other nice features is when you tilt that up, if you only have one guest staying in your bunks, it's a, a much taller bunk. So a less claustrophobic area for your guests. And then if you want to close this area off, if you're using it as a closet or if someone's taking a nap and they want to get some privacy, we've got these nice wooden doors that close that off. You wouldn't even know it was a bunk there. And even the ladder is very high end the way it's got the leather wrapped steps there. And then a good amount of storage here below your bunks, very deep storage. Your guests are going to always need a spot to store stuff. So nice having that. And my favorite part about this coach is the fact that it's got two full bathrooms with two full showers. I preach it all of the time. A lot of times you and your spouse want to get ready at the same time, want to take a shower at the same time. So nice to have separate bathrooms with separate showers. Or if you have the kids along with and you want to have a shower for the kids and a separate shower for the parents, nice to have separate spaces to get ready and just beautiful tile work. When you look at the different types of patterns on the wall here and the way everything comes together and a lot of headroom in your second shower. I'm 6'2". I still have plenty of headroom here. Still probably four or five inches. Six, seven, six, eight person could comfortably take a shower in here and not a ton of extra elbow room, but I can definitely take a shower comfortably in here. And then a nice different type of wood grain bulkhead walls here in your half bathroom. Plenty of room around your toilet, a small sink, but plenty of space to get ready. Beautiful backsplash here. You have a medicine cabinet all lined with carpet and a window to bring in natural light. Now coming into the rear of the coach, it does have carpets and you can tell this coach has been very well cared for, but so much space here, even with the two full bathrooms, still a very large bedroom. We have a TV on a televator, nice storage overhead, and then storage to the side of your TV on the televator. Now, this is not going to be storage because the TV is housed behind there. I like to point out all of the little details like the wood face below the window. All of the blinds are in excellent condition. Beautiful surfaces on the ceiling here and looks like a king size or an RV king size bed. Nice accent lighting on your nightstands. You do have countertop space on both sides of the bed as well as outlets and USB ports. And then coming into the rear bathroom, we have a small step up. Now we do have a washer and dryer here. That's a stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer. Newell Coach does give you an area above to store laundry detergents or dryer sheets and a really nice bowl sink finished in that uh, polished silver look, tile backsplash, and then lots of closet space along the back of the coach. A safe tucked back here as well as the owner's manuals. It's all lined with cedar and that same style of wood grain like we saw in the half bathroom. I like that they broke up the, the different tones and Amber Kernan uh, was in charge of interior design, I believe, when this coach was built. Not it out of the park. Beautiful tile work here in the shower. We've got two different textures and I wonder if this is like a backlit wall here. I've never seen this before but there's some really cool texture going on with this wall and that cool tile design but still a lot of room in your main shower in this coach. And then more mirrors along the back of the coach, more closet space, your extra leaf for your dinette and then some good drawer space back here as well. This coach is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $1,333,333. If you are a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at the motorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are following. We hope you're all having a great day.